What's up YouTube? This is Ultimate Yogi Asian and today I'm gonna to be filming on my new Samsung Galaxy S3. So yeah. It's a white one. Um but I don't really like the camera quality because it like um it, if I'm trying to focus on this Thunder King and then I move it like a little and then you have to start focusing and you can hardly even read it there but yeah let's get started on my dino rabbit deck um we have two rescue rabbits but that's self-explanatory um Freaky, um, Sabersaurus, and three of your puzzles. Let me explain those vanillas. Um, Curry Guides, not assailant, and Sangin, not assailant is an amazing, but with skill drain on the field, it just like, eh. Two effect veilers, uh, two snowman eaters. I might take out one back filler from Maxi if I can get one. Oh yeah, I have regionals um next week on Saturday, and this is the deck I'm gonna be using two snowman eaters. So yeah, and then two Thunder Kings. The Thunder Kings have helped me all day long. So yeah, one Gores the Emissary of Darkness. Um, Gores is just a really good card in my opinion. But yeah, and one grand mall, uh, grand mall, like, helps win games, like, you have gores, and they have, like, they keep on setting a monster, because they're, they're, like, playing an anti-meta deck, you just keep on bouncing the monster, and attacking directly, attacking the monster, attacking directly, until you attack the game, really broken card, in my opinion, three MSTs, staple, um, two Forbidden Lands, the three MSTs and Forbidden Lands because I very, I really hate back row and back row is heavy because in sectors. So yeah, that's why I did that. Three Smashing Ground, Dark Hole, I mean two Smashing Grounds because I, to get over stuff. Um, Dark Hole, Monster Reborn, Book of Moon, uh, Heavy Storm, and Pot of Avarice. Pot of Avarice, um, is sort of a good draw. There's only one card that I think I'm going to change, and that's Dimensional Fissure in the extra deck, so yeah. Um, the Trap lineup, the Solemn Brigade, Solemn Judgment, and Two Solemn Warning. I r I'm going to be running three Dimensional Prisons, so yeah. One Torrential, one Compose, and one Starlight Road. That's it for the main deck. Side, two kinetic soldiers because he's just broken against a lot of matchups. Two Gemini Imps uh, for Dark World. One Marshmallow for those OTK decks. This is like the only card I feel like I want to change a lot. Um, two dimensional fissure because uh, like those decks that are like always depending on their graveyard. Uh. I just don't really like the card. I don't think there's any use for it. Uh, two light imprisoning mirrors for those light decks. Two skill drain. Um, it it's okay. Two non fusion area to, for heroes. This is for wind ups, by the way. And then two mind crush for wind ups. I can't get maxi, so that's the best I can do for wind up matchup. Most of the time, I'm just going to lose against the wind-up matchup, and there's going to be a lot of wind-up matchups, and I can't, like, I don't really want to lose against the wind-up matchups, so yeah. Uh, Triple Logia. I th I'm thinking of taking one of these out for Levier, or the Steel from Roach, after I get one. Two Dolka, um, Dolka's self-explanatory, Utopia Ray, Utopia, Photon Papal Operative. Gemini Pearl, 
Zen mains for stalling, uh, number 17, Lofiathan Dragon, number 30, Acid Golem of Destruction, um, Stardust Dragon, Cataster, and Steel Storm Roach. So yeah guys, that's the Dino Rabbit deck profile. It's pretty generic. So yeah, if you guys liked it, give this video a thumbs up. If you guys didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you think it's very generic, don't just tell me why it's generic. Because most of the Dino Rabbit decks I'm seeing don't like run main deck Smashing Ground or Steel from Roach or anything like that. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. Peace.